That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar throw you. Belikov is the real deal. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried half of them. Heads up. Scouts on the ridge line. Do it all quiet-like? Yeah, you're the expert in quiet. Hey, I'm a complicated man. Good kill. Not bad. Let's keep moving. Take one, I'll get the other. Enemy contact! Good kill. Shit, this looks dicey. But hey, if it's good enough for that. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. You go first. Time to pay Ivan a visit. The old SATCOM building. Looks like it's hanging by a thread. Let's keep moving. They got snipers. Don't let them spot you. Stay low. Keep out of sight. SATCOM building. Looks like it's hanging by a thread. They got snipers. Don't let them spot you.
подготовку к работе на сетном участке. Понял. Мы извлекли ВМ из хранилища данных и готовимся к транспортировке. Когда кран будет готов, сразу же дайте мне знать. А точно. Huh. I think they said they're prepping the mainframe for extraction from the crane. We find the crane. We find the mainframe. Try the stairwell. I went first last time. Why change it up now? Lost my damn gun. You're going first next time. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Stay sure. Woods. Место было заброшено после схода лавины. Я слышал, что при раскопках были найдены дела с пулевыми ранениями. Ты что? Хочешь? вражескую атаку на советской земле? Лавины не стреляют в людей. Я люблю случаи. Нам пора идти. Ты что, боишься привидений? Я боюсь заблудиться и замерзнуть на слушаю твои идиотские Давай уже закругляться с обходом.
Все чисто. Yeah, I read you. You gotta be close. You made. I'm surprised the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. 
You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. In here, Chief. Mason, hop on that scope. Look for something that could lift the mainframe. to your left, more north. You ask me? They're here for more than just the mainframe. Steiner was working on all sorts of crazy shit. That Nova 6 business was just the tip of the iceberg. Looks like they're packing up and getting ready to move out. Max says that crane's hanging right over the atrium. Puts it in spitting distance of the old computer room. There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. That's where we need to go. Excuse me? My, my winch? They got a crane? Sorry, we you got a chopper. Check it. У нас тут контакт. 
меня! Thing better hold this time. Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. 
Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know. But we're gonna do this the right way. We're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you with me. Lazar, be ready for Exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. kilometers downstream. Reports estimate a death around August of last year. <laughs> of all places, you were on assignment in Cyprus this past summer. <clears throat> coincidence, wouldn't you say? Our line of work is full of coincidences. MI6 was keen on finding her. A rogue double agent gone dark for several years. I suppose she must have exposed herself somehow to the CIA. Leave behind a trail of heads? <laughs> Bound to get attention? <coughs> I worked with Madame Michelle for three years, closely. I trusted her. But the moment I began to suspect something, she knew. I was able to fight her off, but she left me with this parting gift. So imagine my surprise when I read these reports. <clears throat> Madame Shell, body washed up on one bank, <laughs> head on the other. Ironic, wouldn't you say? I'd call it <clears throat> poetic justice. Lazar. Thank you. For what? Time to break out your Russian, Bell. Well, she's... <laughs> You know what this dude thinks about Park. She's a true professional. 
I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me? And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? Yep. It's a long way to Moscow. Nope. Don't touch my legs. You bored or what? Well, I didn't expect to see you back here. Less is more. Less talking, less interaction, less commotion. Blend in. It's the last place they'll expect an intrusion, so I'll have that to your advantage. Pretty much everything else is at your disadvantage. Coordinating infill and exfill. We've had to move mountains to fashion an untraceable route to Lubyanka Square. I'll make sure that goes off without a hitch. Getting you out, however, is another headache entirely. I've requested updated aerial reconnaissance to aid in planning your escape route. I don't want to run into any unknowns. Our path out of the Soviet Union will be anything but conventional. Hudson has his biases. There are people he'll never trust, and certain people he trusts impeccably. It just so happens you fall into the former category. I wouldn't dwell on it. Hudson was leery about commingling with other intelligence agencies, but after President Reagan greenlit Adler's operation, he fell in line like a good little American patriot. Remember when I warned you about inquiring into Adler's past? Some of that was likely projection. We're not always proud of our scars. I believe there are better ways to embellish one's character. But in our line of work, it's often more important to diminish the impression we leave on people. I'll be here if you need me.
Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? Oh, is that right? Well, at least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now what is it? That's on a need-to-know basis. And from where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but he won't go near that list of names. We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. An excellent proposition. Guys, Bell's lonely. God damn it. Nope. What's on your mind? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? I don't. He's not one of mine. If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. No. MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents and client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours. Supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. Man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? You know what they say about kids falling in with a bad crowd? Well, let's just say I fell in with the worst part of the bad crowd. The girl wasn't worth it. Believe me. Okay.
did good finding this reel in East Berlin. It looks like a number station broadcast intended for the spy ring. Give it a listen. See if anything clicks. Four, four, two, 
Tick. Sometimes the Reds hide coded messages in plain sight. If I know one thing about you, it's your ability to crack just about anything known to man. Well, how about it then? We discovered Kasim carrying this coded message. We believe it's intended for the U.S. spy ring, but no one's been able to decrypt it yet. Show him how it's done.
Ten for two, zero, six, eight. Voices, five. Hell yeah! That's it! You did it, Bell. Now that we got what we need, we can safely move on Aldrin. Sounds like a partial report to Moscow on lead agent activities. This should help us narrow down the list of suspects. The last report from Bearded Lady indicates a vote in Parliament is happening soon. He believes he has enough influence to convince others to side with him. Strongman is concerned she's been monitored. Suggests KGB run interference for her. Juggler is worried he may lose his next election. Recommends active measures against his opponents. That ledger from Krauss's apartment might hold some clues to the lead agent identities. Seems Krauss was a middleman to funnel money for them. 